Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So welcome. It is day 12 of the One Big Impact 30 Day Challenge. Um, so first of all, I wanted to say congratulations to everybody. We are almost halfway there and good job to everybody. Um, second of all, I want to talk a little bit about habits and what they mean and you know, kind of pursuing uh, getting rid of bad habits, going for good habits. Now, a lot of the times we get in these mindsets that we want to change all our bad habits and we want to have a year of absolute perfection and we're going to we're going to just shred this year, right? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. I want to say first of all, I commend you if you are willing to make those changes and you want all those changes to happen right now. Now, here's what happens if you do that. Not only are you not going to achieve all of those things, but if it's like if you put way too much food on your plate, okay? So say you're say you're kind of hungry, you're not really sure yet, and you put a plate this big in front of you. You got you got steak, you got chicken, you got three servings of broccoli, you got some cake, some pizza, you got all this stuff, right? And you put it in front of you and you just go to town. You go to town, you go to town. And it's like that saying, your eyes are bigger than your stomach, okay? Have you ever gone to a restaurant, ordered this, ordered that, ordered this, even though you're starving, there's literally only so much you can eat. Your stomach's only this big, okay? No matter how hungry you are, maybe you can get it you know, real packed in there and you can get, you know, a couple extra servings or something like that. But if you've ever ordered too much food at a restaurant, then you know just as well as I do, if you put too many things on your plate, you put too many goals at once, you will not achieve it. You will fall short and you will literally miss almost every target. If your plate is this big, and your stomach's only this big, how much did you actually miss the target on? So what I'm saying is change one bad habit. But when you change that one bad habit, I want you to go a month changing that bad habit. But be careful because if you change that bad habit, that bad habit can very, very easily slip into another bad habit. Don't change drinking on a Friday night to going out to dinner with your husband. Because what that can change from is drinking all night to eating all night, okay? It's not a good for a bad or a bad for a good. It's instead of drinking on Friday night, I'm going to read and learn something new about a subject that I am inspired about. Or instead of drinking all night, I am going to take my kids out to the movies. Bond with your children. Instead of drinking all night, I'm going to go hit the gym for a couple hours and go home and relax and have some family time. Instead of hitting the, the bar at night, I'm going to go to the library, have a cu cup of coffee, and work on this next report that's due for work, and I'm going to get it done early so that I can push to succeed further in my career that I'm so passionate about. Now, as you can see, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff, right? You're trading this for that, a bad for a really good. Now, if you think about that, that could be extremely overwhelming in itself. What a lot of us do is we say, I'm no longer going to drink. I'm no longer going to do drugs. I'm no longer going to do this. I'm no longer going to do that. I'm no longer going to do that. I'm no longer going to do this. Not only do you not have seven good things to replace those seven bad things, but you can't do all that at once, okay? You could, maybe you could, maybe, maybe you can. And if you can, if you're that person, you need to get started, okay? And you need to take some of mine and, and take them with you too. Reverse some of mine too, please. But most people, most people put way too much food on their plate and fail, okay? They fall short of being able to complete the meal because it's just too much. It's not about being so hard on yourself. Be realistic with achieving your goals. Whether it's weight loss goals, whether it's fitness goals, whether it's career goals, 
whether it's life goals, whether it's bad habits that you want to change for good, please remember to only change one at a time. And another important thing is don't go back on it when people aren't looking, okay? You know, maybe you're, you're one of those people that wants to quit smoking, okay? Well, don't smoke a cigarette when nobody's looking because if you're the person that says it's okay to screw up, then you're never going to achieve it. The reason for that is you're always looking. You're always looking. I'm always here. I'm always here. If I'm eating that piece of cake when nobody's looking, then how am I ever, ever, ever going to achieve getting rid of those bad habits? I won't. I literally will not. Why do you think so many people are successful in inpatient rehab facilities while they're there? Because they're always being watched. And you have to remember, I am always watching myself. You are always watching yourself. Don't ever let yourself go bad on itself, okay? If you're always watching, then you always need to be striving for that perfection as far as changing towards that good habit. If you don't, and getting rid of that bad habit, if you don't, you're going to fail every single time. Because if you're kicking drugs, when nobody's looking, you're going to get high. If you're kicking food, when nobody's looking, you're going to stop at the donut shop. But at the end of the day, you have to remember, somebody's always looking. Somebody is always looking, and that person is you. You're always looking. You're always watching. So please, only take one step at a time. Maybe two if you can handle it, if they're small things. But if it's a massive change with your life, please take it one step at a time. Don't be so hard on yourself. Strive every single day for greatness as far as changing this bad habit into a good habit. You guys, I hope you guys like our video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you're new here, please check out our videos all over YouTube. And also, please be stronger than your excuses. Come join us on Healthy Living for a Healthy Life, as well as all our other platforms, World Travelers, OneBigImpact.com. Have a beautiful day. Remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.